experience, videotape. You're the owner. <laughs> or else you bootlegged it from a friend. Either way, you're watching it, baby, and that makes me happy. I hope I can give you some insight into uh, this little thing, why I got into it, why I wanted to play blues harmonica, what turned me on about it, and, and why I've done it now for, I guess, 35 years, from 1965 to now. I've been playing harmonica in the blues and singing the blues, making blues records just kind of being totally into it. It wasn't something that I uh, don't think I had any other choice. Looking back on it, it was just the way I was meant to go, I believe that. Because it was a hard road and I don't think anybody would have uh, chose it if they really could have seen all the ups and downs there there is to, to doing it unless it was really in your heart and soul to want to to play this thing and, and these blues moved you like they did me. So anyway, in the whole tape, I just want to try and give you my take on the thing, teach you a little bit about the fundamentals of playing for people just starting out on the harmonica and then maybe a few, uh, open a few doors for cats that already been playing a while. Maybe there's something that you can extract from my whole thing and use it in yours and that, that'll uh, be a benefit to you and that's obviously why you bought the tape so you know the reason why I got so immersed in this thing I guess the sound of it just turned me on especially the amplified harmonica uh, the Little Walter records, the Muddy Water records people thought you had to go to Chicago to learn how to play this thing back in the 60s a lot of cats were under that impression I, I do believe if you had the records, you could learn the, uh, you know, the, the technique of playing harmonica off those records by running them back and running them back and running them back. As far as being really a blues man and really get into it on that level, I was fortunate enough to team up with George Harmonica Smith. George Smith, great blues singer, blues harp player was in LA by the time I was starting to do it so I was fortunate enough to to get with him join the band two harmonicas man what a sound I guess George saw in me a young cat coming up and had a band existing band that he could play with he could play half the show I'd play the other half give him a chance to rest and for me it was a chance to be around him and, and kind of get schooled by him. I don't think he can buy that kind of training anywhere. I was so fortunate to just be there at that time. And through him, working at all the corner bars down in Watts, the Sassy Kit and the Smalls Paradise Club, and the Red Soul Room, which we worked for a total of $3.65 split six ways. <laughs> from two till six in the morning. Certainly wasn't a money thing. We'd drive 60 miles from Riverside down to the Watts area, LA. And uh, I think we made 15 bucks a night. Slept at George Smith's house. That was the Bacon Fat Band. Pee Wee Creighton and George, George Smith. Buddy Reed, Richard Ennis, Jerry Smith, myself. Uh, had a lot of fun, a lot of stories, played behind a lot of great people, Joe Turner, Eddie Vincent, T-Bone Walker, a lot of the LA cats that were stationed there, you know, lived around LA. So what I want to give you is let my insight into this whole thing and hope that you can take, take something from it. Uh, I'm not telling you that my way is the best way or the only right way, I'm just telling you the way I do it. And if there's something you can use out of it, great. I think, uh, first off, I probably want to just start with, you know, if you went out and bought one harp, what, what harp people, what harp should I buy if I'm going to buy one harp? People ask me that all the time. I, I don't think you can go out and just buy one harp. Not if you're serious about learning how to play along with blues records, because obviously everybody plays in different keys. 
So I think what you got to do is go out and buy five or six keys, an A, a B flat, a C, a D, an E and F, and a G. And with those, you can pretty much find your way on all these blues songs that have been recorded. If you're going to really get into it and you want to play the chromatic harmonica, I'd suggest that you start with the 12 hole instead of the, the 64 because uh, it's a little bit easier to get around on this one because the holes are closer together. It's a little smaller harp. It's not quite as, as uh, massive as the 64. A lot of guys started out playing the small harp, tried to change over to this after 20 years or 15 years kind of have a problem adapting to it because it's it's actually a different instrument you know uh, all the scales are different uh, it's different the way you manipulate your mouth around it and, and everything about it is just different so if you if you're going to try to play that eventually don't don't just put it off start with that play that as much as you play this uh, I think that was one of the great things I got with George Smith I was playing that a little bit but this so much more and he, uh, he would put me on that big harp, you know, a lot more than, than I, I thought myself to pick it up. He'd put it into my hands when I'd be playing a certain tune. He'd come up behind me and hand me that and make me start working out on that as well as the small one. So my advice to you on that is to start with that one and this one if you're going to really pursue this thing to any, you know, 